it's Wednesday and I know I'm late, but I'm going to actually tell you why I'm late in a second. Um, today is not a tea day. I'm breaking the rules. My daughter brought this home from school for me yesterday. Mmm, delicious. I am having coffee with Tamara today because clearly I'm like intent today. Um, and I'm having it in my Granville Island from Vancouver mug. So why I'm a little late? Okay, so the story goes like this. Uh, yesterday around 4 p.m. I hit a bloody wall. A big bad wall. Like I mean, I slept eight hours two nights ago and there was absolutely no reason for me to be tired yesterday. But at four o'clock, I got like sideswiped with this ex exhaustion. Like I'm on a call with somebody and all my eyes want to do is close. So I was like, something's not right here. Something's really like feeling energetically wrong. So of course, what do I do? I look up when the full moon is. The full moon is, that's why I have my moon necklace on tonight at 5 42 PM Eastern Standard Time. Now, why is this important? You ask? It's really important to me because this is the ending of a cycle. This is where something that we have been doing or feeling can come to a completion and an end. It is pure magic if we allow it to do. And this is why we are, I'm, I'm calling myself out and calling you out. So a real quick side story. The reason that I'm, I'm a little late is because we've started doing like 6 a.m. spin classes. So I have not had an alcoholic beverage for 12 days. Give a little holla giving my body and my business a chance to really feel what it's supposed to feel, which allows me in meditation to hear, because I get spirit chats, you know, and it's pretty kind of awesome, but when I'm kind of, and I'm in a zone of like haze, I don't hear them as clearly, and man, they were pissed off with me yesterday, which brings me to what my calling out will be. So after spin class today and taking my daughter to the orthodontist, I made the commitment that it was kind of like that moment where the spring shave had to happen and that's why I'm late. I had to go like hacking and cutting through my legs and stuff in my shower and I committed to doing it. So I do apologize, but summer legs are here. Yay! It took a little while to do the upper leg, everybody. Um, okay. So here's where we get to call ourselves out a little bit. Now, if you have ever worked with me, you know that I, I truly honestly believe that greatness is on the other side of discomfort and that fear is there as a driving force for us as long as, not, as it's not the fight or flight fear, like the one that, you know, a white van is pulling up beside you on the road. Like, don't, don't not listen to that fear. Run, run as fast as you can, all right? I, it's funny because I had a white van and a white Pathfinder, but I'm a nice person. Anyway, so this fear is a driving force in the sense that I get panic anxiety and I get um, like uh, panic attacks and I can't, like I shake. And I haven't been listening to them. I've kind of been pushing them down. And I would get super upset with my clients if they did this. So I'm calling myself out and we're going to set a really strong intention today. So in the program that I'm running with um, the Quill with Angela Larie, one of the things that we have to do is talk about how we're going to get in, in front of other people's audiences or how I'm going to like stretch myself out into the world so that I can, you know what I mean, send my message clearly into the hands of the people that it's meant to serve. Small problem. From January to March, it maybe hid a lot. Like maybe I didn't actually really go out. I stopped going to social functions. I started to get really comfortable being in this state. And it, it was working for me, right? Like I have a great business and a great life and things are going really, really well. So since I stopped drinking for 12 days, in my meditations, the spirit got pissed at me. And I mean this in like the nicest way possible. Like. I started to have panic attacks because one of the things that I'm supposed to be doing is getting my mission and my, and my statement out into the world. And I, I'm okay if people don't like it now. I was scared shitless that I was going to piss people off before, right? And that is that we as women and men have the opportunity to break codependent relationships in our lives so that we can then stand in our power and go out and to make a difference into the lives of others. Like I truly know that there is power when you stand in yourself. You become better in your family, you become better uh, parents, you become better friends, and you become better business people. But there's this fear that I was carrying that, oh my God, if I declare that, you know, I broke up with my son and that I had to, I kicked him out at 16, I stopped talking to him at 17, that I'm going to get some haters up in my grill. And I totally have been petrified of these haters. Like they, these pretend haters that don't exist yet, 
have stopped me from moving myself into a place of communication with people that it will matter to. So I have stayed safe under my blanket, curled up on a couch like a little thing, doing my business, growing it. It's been magical, but I'm not listening to the one thing my spirits are telling me, my guides are telling me. And that is I need to take this onto like conversations with other people, to podcasts, to getting out there. Now, if you know me at all, the thought of calling up, you know, Joe Schmo and saying like, hi, my name's Tamara. This is a book I've written and, you know, I want to have a conversation about my mission statement scared me. And I didn't realize how much it scared me till yesterday in meditation when I was given three people to contact and they're really famous people or at least really famous to me and the one. So when I went to write my book, um, the angels like legitimately followed me around and be like, contact Hay House, write a book, contact Hay And I was like, I'd go for a walk. I've told you this story. I was blow drying my hair. They were relentless. Well, they've been relentless with this one person's name. And I'm like, oh, so yesterday, of course, I did the thing. I looked it up and it's a fortress, but I'm going to, I just know I'm meant to contact this person. Wait till you hear them because I'm like, ah, this is scary shit. But the scary shit and what causes me fear and the anxiety is what sh drives me forward. Guys, when we hear and we feel this anxiety, notice it because the chances are on the other side of it is like some awesome possum, like amazing thing that you're meant to be doing. Just like I am meant to contact, ready for it, Drew Barrymore. What? Drew Barrymore. Yeah, that's what my angels are guiding me to do. So you know what? Come hell or high water, I'm going to try and get myself in front of Drew Barrymore so that she can hear my message because for some reason they're telling me this needs to happen. Okay. Mission going to go into it. Another thing that I'm going to be needing to do is contacting people, just getting on the phone and talking to them about spreading my mission and my word, which is that we truly need to stop living our lives for other people and standing there and living them for us. And I mean this in a non-selfish way. I mean it in a way that the more that you are doing and standing in your authentic purpose and power, right? then the more your children are going to be like, whoa, mom, you're kind of cool now. But they don't actually say that out loud. But in their brain, I believe that that's what they're saying. And, you know, on top of that, your relationship with your partner is going to go up. Like, I can just tell you, there's things going on between Jeff and I that are feeling pretty good right now. And on top of that, your business can expand and grow into the place that it needs to be. Because if I stay small right now and I stay in my own house because I don't go out, guys, truly very often, very, very often, it's very, 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 then I'm not going to be able to get my mission and what I'm here on this earth to do out to the people that need to receive it, right? And so we have to stretch ourselves and we have to get uncomfortable and we have to push. So my full moon declaration is coming to this close of hiding. I am done. No more. This, this person that you see here today is not the same person that you will even see a week from now. Mark my words, mostly because a week from now I will be in Virginia the night before I launch my book. So t next Thursday on Amazon, I go live. Please help me spread the word because this is the beginning for me. And I think this is why my angels are so strongly going like, now it's time. You've been doing well, but you need to get out there and be afraid. It's okay to piss people off. It's like, it's okay because I know my purpose, right? And so I'm asking you guys and I'm calling you guys out whether you place it here right in these comments or you send me a message privately or you do something today but i want a declaration from you guys all that this is today is the day something ends for you and you are going to declare you are now moving into this space a new space one that makes you feel ah, scared a little bit something bigger than you thought you would do bigger and brighter and more awesome because that's what we are meant to do. Take these steps into our lives, into our power, so that we can be in the service of helping the people that we're meant to help. So your greatest gift you can give yourself today on this powerful full moon, I even wore my Cosmic Kitty shirt, come on. And I did that because I'm a nerd and I'm a proud nerd. I'm going to see New Kids on the Block on June 21st with two of my besties and that is really something that not a lot of people would do, but it's super cool to me. So I'm going to stand in my authenticity and my power and declare I will be in front of other people's audiences by contacting them to say I want to talk about my book and podcast with people I don't know. Boom. Whew, that
that gives me anxiety. And I know because it gives me anxiety that it's exactly where I need to be. So please make your declarations below. <laughs> what is this full moon ending for you and where are you going into your new life? You know, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, to write them below anytime. You can contact me at Tamara at TheEnchantedFairy.ca or private message me. I love you guys. Like, again, always ending with the Care Bear stare. Um, you guys are the reason I get up every day, and I love you, and I'm sending you so much love. And if you can see, I'm actually shaking by, by saying all that because it does seriously give me anxiety. <laughs> all right, we will talk soon. <laughs> Bye.